welcome to the show, everybody. This is Psychic Medium Tony G airing live on um, Blog Talk WSCS. Um, Rude Rangers TV and a number of uh, podcast stations. So I'm extremely excited. I'm going to get a little comfortable. I should have probably done that before the show started, but why would I? I never do. So I'm going to get a little comfortable and we are going to get right into it. There's so many amazing things going on right now. And I want to share them with you. First and foremost, um, Rude Rangers Entertainment, Rude Rangers TV uh, has taken on psychic medium Tony G. So it will now be airing on their stations. And they're on Amazon Fire and Roku and Apple TV. You can go to Rude Rangers TV and uh, see the sh um, see their whole lineup and also my show. Um, you can go to uh, Rude Rangers dot net and download the app and watch it uh, live stream on any of your devices. Then. I will be airing Mondays at 6 p.m. on Rude Rangers. I'm also on WSCS, and I think I air on WSCS uh, this show Mondays at 11 a.m. And Create a Life You Love, which is my other show, airs also on WSCS. Okay, and all the uh, uh, podcasts podcasting stations. <laughs> All righty, next. Uh, tomorrow, uh, which is uh, Tuesday, May, I was going to say April, May 18th. <laughs> I will be at White Pearl Spa for an event. They have invited me to uh, be a guest at this event. I'll be doing readings from 4 until 8 p.m. White Pearl Spa is in Des Moines, Illinois. So if you are in the area or you want to be in the area, please join me there. Um, so that's going to be very exciting, too. This is my first time there, but it's a med eye spa and a nail lounge and they're going to have a lot of giveaways and specials i'll have copies of my books which i have seven books that i've authored i'm working on my eighth book so i'm so super excited about all of that let's see uh i also have another show create a life you love which will be um I'll be recording this week via YouTube and then be it will be uploaded to WSCS and a number of other areas. And that show basically just talks about um, where do you want to be in life and how do you get there? What is the, what's standing between you what you want, where you want to be. And the answer for most people is so simple and and yet so difficult. It's it's a thought process. It's it's what's in your mind because we can't achieve what we don't believe. And we it, there has to be some part of us that has a small belief that this is available and it's available to us. So I do a lot of clearing work, a lot of healing work, a lot of um, <clears throat> uh, communicating about the process of getting to where you need to be in your mind and in, uh, in reality then. All right. So, uh, okay. So I'm going to be taking callers on uh, blog talk from blog talk. If you are on blog talk and I call your area code, please have um, one question 
one exact question or one connection, one exact connection available. When I call your area code, please take me off of speakerphone and speak directly into your phone for the audio purposes of all the shows um, that are for all the stations that are airing the show. Okay. Hi, Genevieve. How are you today? I'm going to first go to the, the very first caller who is um, 856. Hello, 856. How are you today? Hi. This is, I'm good. How are you? This is Laura. Hi, Laura. How can? Where are you calling from? I'm in New Jersey. Awesome. How can I help you today? I'd like to know what you see for me around getting another job. I'm looking for something more stable. Okay. Um, so, uh, it, the first thing I hear, well, I heard March, April, May. So I feel like it, you probably have been putting uh, stuff out for this long, you have been applying for this long. I'm going, or at least yeah. this long. Um, and I'm going to say June because that's the next thing I hear. And then it goes into July. So I feel like <clears throat> something is going to come in possibly in June as far as interviews and being in that space where some uh, another company is looking at you very seriously. And I feel like in July, the final decision will be made and it should be made in your favor. Now, the final decision may be made in June. However, you might start in July because I get a very soft July, which tells me it would either be the very beginning of July or you're going to start in July. Now, this position is going to be your choice. There are going to be things you like about this position, but there are also going to be things you do not like um, that they're putting on the table. If you take the position, it, it will. What are the things I don't like? Uh, let me finish, please. Um, if okay. if you take the position, it will be fine. It will work out. <clears throat> if you keep looking in August. See, I, I want to point something out right there. Thank you for saying that, by the way. Right away in our mind when we hear there might be things you don't like, right away in our mind we're like, what are they? Can I live with them? And not the question. Yeah. The question should be, right? Isn't that so true? We we all do that. Well, what I, I'm willing to compromise. How much am I willing to compromise? The question should be, is there a better offer coming? If I hold out a little longer, Will I be in a better place? We're, I've noticed, especially since um, the whole um, thing started, uh, I, I won't, I, we, we have become very desperate as, as, uh, as a world. Um, we've become so desperate for a sense of safety, even if it's a false sense of safety. We've become so desperate for money and work, and we're in such a place, some of us are in such a place of fear, we're willing to compromise anything. And it, it goes the same with relationships. If I say, well, there's somebody coming in, but you know, there are going to be things you don't like. Well, what are those things? Maybe I can deal with them. Now, long term, yes. we can yes. never deal with them. Long term, we know it too, but we're willing to make that sacrifice out of desperation for love or whatever we want to call it, just for a change. Like, well, it's not as bad as the last one, the last job, the last person. So here's what I'm going to say. If you can hold off, right? And I, this goes for relationships, for jobs, for anything. If we can just be patient and know the right one, the good one, the best one is right around the corner. If we can have that knowing for ourselves and that willingness to hold out for it, we do so much better. August, August, August. 
So if you can hold out okay. and not be afraid, something better won't come along because isn't that what we do? We're so nervous yeah. that we think, well, this might be the best I get. Really? Because that's not how the universe works. That's not how angels work. If we can hold out and we're really clear about what we want, we're going to get it. So I wanna I wanna take that desperation away from you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um anybody listening, anybody re-listening. So we're in a state of desperation. And I'm not gonna say with work, with finding work, with relationships, just in that state of desperation. And I, I'm clearing this now. Whew, so you you may, everybody listening, re-listening may feel something. You may feel something. Uh, you If you do, that's perfect. If you don't, it doesn't mean it's not working. It just means uh, you might not feel it. Um, I cannot tell you, and this is just one small example, the number of people who stay with someone or a job because they feel like um, something better won't be there. But if they knew, if they had that guarantee, which again is going from a pay place of, um, it's going, that's coming from a place of fear, not faith. Um, if they had that guarantee that there is somebody better, uh, they would be willing to let go of what they had right now and go into something better. Now, the one thing I can say, and it's it's really, this is just an example of it. I cannot tell you the number of people who are willing to do things just to make their life easier, something that might even compromise their health just to make their life easier, just so they can, can have their so-called freedoms. And that goes into another area. But when we're in that state of um, fear, when we're in that state of fear or lack or desperation, we end up with those situations. And we really need to be in that place of knowing that there is better. Now, I cannot, I, I, I don't know about um, your area, but in my area and in many other areas, they can't get employees. So I always say, if there isn't the position you want where you are, be willing to relocate, be willing to start your whole life over if you can. Um, even if that relocation is a little relocation, you never know where it's going to take you and what it's going to offer you. Now, I don't feel like you're going to have to relocate to get this really good position in August. I feel like that position is local. I do feel like it's going to come in uh, strong for you. And I do feel like you're really going to love it. You're going to enjoy this position. You're going to have, uh, it's it's going to almost um, almost be like uh, kindred spirits that you work with, okay? It's going to feel familiar once you get there. So even though the first offer may be coming through a little sooner, there will be things that you don't appreciate and you are going to have a better offer coming in in August. Okay, now maybe this job pops up in July and then by August you have it or it pops up in August and by the end of August you have it. Okay? Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much, Tony. Oh. I really appreciate that. Oh, it's always, always my pleasure. And I hope that this was helpful. And uh, please do keep me posted, okay? I will. Thank you so much for the wonderful word of advice. Yeah. I, I really needed to hear it. Oh, absolutely my pleasure. Absolutely. I am going to go to caller 860. 860, how are you today? Oh, 
Hi, thank you so much. Absolutely, my pleasure. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Um, my name is Lisa Marie. I'm calling from Connecticut. Yeah, another East Coaster. How are you today? Very good, thank you. How are you? God, thank you for asking. How can I help you? I am wondering. I, I've been told in my life that I have gifts and that I have a book in me and good things, but nothing ever happens. And I'm just wondering, is that the truth? Is okay, it hopeless? So I'm going to say some things that you might not love, and that's okay, because I'm not here to uh, fluff you up falsely. That's not my job. My job is to be exact and honest and say say the tough things sometimes. Sometimes I have to say things that people don't love, and it's okay. I don't mind that. If you, if you don't like what I say, eh, you know what? It comes from the angels. Argue with them. Um in order for something to happen, you have to do something. Okay? And I know, I know, I know, I know, <laughs> I know, I do something, I do whatever. If somebody told you there's a book in you, have you started writing the book? Have you started doing the outline? Have you sat down with pen and paper and computer? Have you, or are you waiting for somebody to drop a book deal in your lap? Now, I, I don't mean to sound harsh or to sound um like your whatever sometimes we need to hear that it's a matter of making a move in order to get the move so if you want a new house or a new apartment you're not going to go well i've been told i'm supposed to move but nobody walked up to me and offered me an apartment um, so I, I, and I know you're a very kind and loving and sweet person. I can hear it in your voice, but sometimes even us kind, loving, sweet people need to hear, get on it, <laughs> start moving, do it. Don't make me shake you. Um, what I'm getting for you is, um, they just keep repeating the same thing. Sweet girl. They keep saying, if you want it, you got to take that action. You got to make that move. Now, I have a lot of people that come. I am. I, I don't like to brag or sound braggy. I don't like to put things out there. But I have a tremendous number of psychics that come to me, people who are extremely intuitive. And I have a, a, a bigger number of people who bring their intuitive children to me. Okay. And some of these people are actually psychics or intuitives that do it for work and do it as work. And others, they just have their gifts and they're like, well, I think I'm in, I'm intuitive. I'm like, well, yeah, you are. <laughs> um, and then their question to me is, well, what am I supposed to do with this? And my answer to them is always the same. What do you want to do with it? Now, here's something. I'm so happy you called and I'm please know I'm not lecturing you. <laughs> this is information not only for you, but for anybody listening, because there are so many people in your shoes right now. Um, first and foremost, you know, if you have gifts and we all, every single one of us are born with gifts. It's something inside of us. It's not something that's dropped into us. It's something inside of us. It's like a muscle. Either we use it or we don't. Either we practice or we don't. And if we are going to practice, we practice to the extent that we feel safe and comfortable. And then we have to decide, okay, if I have this, where am I going to go with it? What am I going to use it for? Am I going to use it for my own guidance? And we do instinctively every day use it for our own guidance, whether we know this or not, whether we we acknowledge it or not, we're using it for our own guidance. The other thing is, <clears throat> excuse my voice there. Uh, the other thing is, do we want to take it further? Do we want to use it for guidance for others? Do we want to put ourselves out there 
and have people coming to us and helping other people with the guidance that we can give them. So here's the biggest thing I'm getting for you is if you want something to move, you might have to push it a little bit. Again, they're not letting that go. You have to decide what do you want. You have to decide how do you want to do it, where do you want to take it, and why do you want to do that. Just because somebody said there's a book in you, maybe you don't want to put that information out there. Maybe you don't want to write a book, but there is a book in you. And I and not to take away from your personal story, there's a book in everybody. We've all, every single person has had very interesting, very complicated, very who lives, but not everybody's going to want to write about that. Now, you do have at least two books in you. You could do three if you wanted to. And those books have to be determined upon what you want to let out of you what you want to share with the world and your gifts. You have to decide what do you want to use them for? What do you want to open up inside of you? And that's for every single person. The one thing I am going to caution you and anybody else on, don't put titles on it. Not, of course, put a title on your book. Um, the further you stay from ego, the further you can go with your gifts. Now, what do I mean by that? I watch, this is my life. Like I love watching a lot of different aspects of um, psychic abilities, channeling, tarot, all of it. And <clears throat> the one thing that will make me turn something off very quickly is when somebody talks about themselves, oh, I'm on the 5D level. Okay, you're coming from ego. We're done. We're all on the same level. We're just getting there in different ways. Oh, my, you know, stay away from titles. Stay away from that sort of thing. Just go on your journey Make it your journey. Your journey should be personal to you while you're taking it. And you shouldn't have to blow your trumpet about it when you're done because it will speak for itself. If you have to blow your trumpet about who, what, where, why, where, you aren't there. You're not even halfway there because your trumpet is your ego and your spirit will shine and everybody will see that. Okay, love? So... My very, very, very long answer for you is that, but I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do a clearing right now, a healing, a clearing um, that says we are going to clear, you are stuck. I'm going to clear that. You're, uh, you're in faith about being able to move forward with this. I'm going to clear that because I get a no. And this is for you, anybody listening and re-listening. And I want you to know they do want you to move forward in these areas and use these gifts because they're important for you and they're important to you, but they're also important for others. Whatever you put out there, will help another person if it's put out there correctly. I hope this was helpful, love. Thank you so very much for blessing me today. Thank you. You are so welcome. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, and the next caller is 415. Hey, 415, how are you today? Where are you calling from? What's your name? Uh, hi, Tony. This is Kate, and I'm calling from um, Washington State. Excellent. How can I help you today? Um, well, a lot of the things, of course, have applied to me. Um, I um, just landed here from moving uh, two days ago, mm -hmm. and I had a great trip up, driving for a couple of days, and so, but I feel kind of out of balance. So, just any advice on how to gain my footing 
um, you know, I'm just kind of so exhausted all the time. Okay. Yeah. You know what? This at uh, the first, I'm getting three things immediately. This was very emotional for you. Um, and I think anytime we yeah. relocate, even if it's from one house to another, it's just emotionally exhausting. So you're emotionally exhausted. And I think a lot of us are. So I'm just doing a clearing on that right now for you. The other thing I'm hearing, and it sounds so bizarre, but I love it. You are acclimating <laughs> to a new energy. So every geographic area oh. has their own frequency or energy. And... <clears throat> Yeah, you are acclimating to the frequency. You're getting ready to acclimate to the frequency that you're in. And I, I just want to ask a few questions um, of them upstairs. Is this frequency higher than hers? Okay, I want you to make sure <clears throat> you are keeping your frequency high, your energy oh. high, and your mood solid. And I think you know what I mean. I, I don't think I have to go into great detail about that. I think you can know what that means. You're a very strong person. And you're typically mm -hmm. a very, uh, just a solid person. Like, um, balance, yeah. Yes. So I'm going to use your term. She is balanced or in balance and I get a no so we're going to clear that and that's for you everybody listening and re-listening give this two to three days oh. and that you should be fully acclimated and ready to go but by the end of today you should feel much much better now for you everybody listening everybody listening re-listening I'm going to do a quick um they are clear i get a no so i'm going to clear that they are unclear we're going to fix that also um who and for anybody listening re-listening the most important thing is to be like in that really solid clear state so we're going to do that we're going to see where that takes us and we are going to uh allow all of this to clear for everybody um i think by I want to say within an hour or two, you should feel much, much better. And then you should get stronger and stronger from there. I do feel like this was a really good move for you. You're going to, um, I just like see the cornucopia thing. And I hear the door to prosperity yeah. is opening for you. So whatever this means for you, I'm very happy and excited for you. Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you. I really felt that in all the lower chakras. Oh. It really, it feels more aligned already. Good. It felt like uh, and you know, they were all swirling around. So. I love that. Thank you for sharing that with me. I'm going to tell you when we do relocate, it is that lower chakra area of safety, security, home mm. that really gets yeah. Yeah. thrown off just for a second and um, has, um, has us in that place where we are sometimes not feeling as safe and secure as where we came from. So I want to thank you so much for calling in. I'm so grateful for your, um, for you letting me uh, know that. And I just um, took my phone off of speaker for a moment because we're almost at the 30 minute mark for blog talk. Blog talk folks, please don't go any place. I'm not done with you yet, <laughs> but that show I always do for 30 minutes for WSCS. So I'm going to thank everybody on WSCS for watching this show today. If you would like to see the rest of this show, please uh, visit my YouTube channel and uh, you can just you get to watch the show in its entirety.